I'm Janae with the Miami-Dade Public Library System. And this is a brief tutorial of a few different breathing techniques. Um, in yogic philosophy and Eastern philosophy, this is called pranayama practice, or translates to breathing techniques. And while they can be incorporated into a yoga practice and a physical asana-based practice, um, the benefits of breathing techniques can serve us outside of our yoga practice as well. So as we um, focus on the breath and begin to control the breathing process through these various techniques, um, we can shift the energy of our physical experience. And so when you're feeling stressed, when you're feeling down, when you're feeling uh, really high energy, right, you can manipulate your breath style to help change the energy in your body. So we'll begin with um, the slower cooling and grounding breathing techniques and work our way into a more um, heated and rigorous technique. In this way, you'll get to pause and sense the energetic effect between each style of breath. This is Dirga Pranayama. And Dirga Pranayama is a three-part breathing technique. It's the most grounding form of breath in this practice. You'll start by breathing into the lowest part of your belly, beneath the stomach and the diaphragm. Uh, so you'll inhale there. The second part of the breath to the low ribs and torso. And the third part of the breath to the upper ribs, shoulders, and chest. The exhale goes the same way in the opposite direction, release from the shoulders and chest to the low torso, out of the low belly. So this will happen on a more integrated pace. Begin at your own pace now. Inhale to the belly, to the low ribs, to the shoulders. Exhale, shoulders, low ribs, belly. Continue at that pace. Belly, low ribs, shoulders. Exhale, shoulders, low ribs, belly. Continue on your own. Take one more complete round of Dirga Pranayam. And then allow the natural rhythm of your own breath to resume. Observe the effect and the energetic experience of the grounding breath, the three-part breath. Ujjayi breath is translated to mean victorious breath. It has an audible sound associated with it. So it's also a lot like um, the ocean sound or if you were to breathe like you're creating fog to clean glasses. It sounds like <sighs> Right. So we'll manipulate our breathing process to include that sound on both the inhale and the exhale. And you'll be able to take that sound eventually with the mouth closed, breathing in and out through the nostrils. So we create this breath by locking the epiglottis in the back of the throat. 
and then inhaling straight to the back of the esophagus. The exhale is the same way. Close the mouth and continue the breath. Start to slightly constrict your abs and core muscles as you breathe. Continue on your own. This type of breath helps us to anchor towards our practice, whether we're in movement of yoga or in seated meditation. The sound gives us a point of focus. Advanced practitioners of ujjayi breath can often take the breath with no sound at all, completely removing the audible aspect of the breath but continuing the practice of breathing in and out of the back of the throat. When you're ready, release the breath and return to the natural rhythm of your own breathing. Sense the effect of your ujjayi practice as stimulating and centering. This pranayama technique is called kapalabhati breath or skull shining breath. And it can be practiced anytime that you're feeling excess energy that needs to be um, in movement, it's sort of stagnant, or anytime that you wanna generate energy and create some heat for your body. Um, so this breath is created by active constriction. There's a forced exhale, and then the inhale comes automatically. You actively constrict as you breathe out from the belly, pulling the center of the belly button to the back of the spine. And the inhale comes automatically as a response. So let's take a few rounds together. You can take it slowly. Pause. Sit up tall, and then we'll take 10 rounds together here. So when you're ready, begin, perhaps a little faster than the last round. Breathe in completely and hold. And then exhale slowly. Resume natural breath. Start to notice the sensation of energy. Let's take a few more rounds of Kapalabhati breathing together here. Join me when you're ready. Feel free to move at your own pace. Inhale. Forceful exhale to begin. Slow exhale. Natural breathing. Notice a sense of heat. Perhaps tingling. 
Take one more round here. Move at your own pace. You can experiment with moving more quickly with more breaths per, per beat or more slowly and get the stronger benefit of quantity over quality. It's, um, it's an experiment through your pranayama practice. Begin when you're ready. It's important to continue pulling the stomach and belly button back towards the spine as you breathe, regardless of the pace. When you feel ready, inhale completely. Hold the breath. And exhale, slowly let it go. Pause to observe the effect. When you're ready, open the eyes. So here you have three different breathing techniques, pranayama practices to help encourage your own ability and empower yourself to slow your stress and your active reactions um, by manipulating the breath experience. Um, you can start with grounding breath exercises in Dirga Pranayama. You can move with a focus-driven breath, the Ujjayi breathing, which anchors you to the present moment. Or you can take a stimulating, more active and heating breath in the form of Kapalabhati. Um, there's lots of resources on this type of information, full-length meditations and guided meditations with yours truly on the uh, Miami-Dade Public Library YouTube page and our website, mdpls.org. Thank you for practicing. Enjoy these techniques and let us know what you think with a comment. Namaste.